All right, I want to do a quick video here on this uh, Queen James Bible. I've had a lot of people write and say, have you heard about this, you know, and, and, uh, and yes, I have heard about it. And um, it's just, just disgusting. But uh, you go to the website there, and uh, it says here, a gay Bible, homosexuality in the Bible, uh, it says here, homosexuality was first mentioned in the Bible in 1946 in the Revised Standard Version. There is no mention of or reference to homosexuality in any Bible prior to this. Only interpretations have been made. Anti-LGBT Bible interpretations commonly cite only eight verses in the Bible that they interpret to mean homosexuality is a sin. Eight verses in a book of thousands. Okay, let me just stop there for a minute. Uh, the word homosexual is a modern invention, okay? The Bible word is sodomite, all right? Sodomy. That's what the Bible says, and it's not an interpretation. Man lying with mankind, it's abomination. It's very simple. The Queen James Bible, back to the article here, Queen James Bible seeks to resolve interpretive ambiguity in the Bible as it pertains to homosexuality. We edited these those eight verses in a way that makes homophobic interpretations impossible. Now, that's very interesting. You see, because if the Bible truly, they say about it's just, it's ambiguous. I don't really know for sure. Well, if it is, then leave it alone. Why do they have to change the scripture? Because the Bible, the King James Bible, is clearly against sodomy. Sodomy is an abomination. And the Bible even says in Romans chapter 1, in the New Testament, during the church age, the Pauline epistles, you know, you can't escape it for right now, they which do such things are worthy of death. And I'm going to talk about that in just a little, a couple minutes here too. But the point is, there's no, you know, oh, we don't really know for sure or whatever. The Bible's very clear that, that sodomy is a sin, a grievous sin, one that vexes the Lord. But it says here, back to the article, who is Queen James? The King James Bible is the most popular Bible of all time and arguably the most important English language document of all time. The brainchild and namesake of King James the first, wasn't his brainchild, but whatever, who wanted an English language Bible that all could own and read it has been in print for over 400 years and has brought more people to Christ than any other Bible translation. Now see, let me just stop here too, because the satanic method is you tell the truth mixed in with lies. Satan did that the whole way through the Bible. Satan would quote scripture. So you bring out a little bit of truth and you mix in the lies. Continuing. Uh, commonly known to biographers but often surprising to most Christians, King James was a well-known bisexual. Yeah. Though he did marry a woman, his many gay relationships were so well-known that amongst some of his friends in court, he was known as Queen James. It is in his great debt and honor that we name the Queen James Bible so. Did you see any documentation? Any footnotes to prove this absurd statement? No. Nothing. This proof of the, the Queen James, that they actually called him Queen James, there's no proof for that. And they say, well, he was, he was a bisexual, you know. That's, usually they say he's a sodomite. You know, usually they just say he was a homosexual, which is an absolute lie. Okay, King James was married and had eight children. He was not a sodomite. But let me just clear something up here with a book that does document things. Here we have King James unjustly accused. You can see it there. Okay, I'm going to read from page, this is very, very well documented here, page 48. It says here, There are some horrible crimes that ye are bound in conscience, conscience never to forgive, such as witchcraft, willful, willful murder, incest, and sodomy. You say, well, that's just that author's opinion. No, actually, you see, it's a quotation there. I don't know if that's going to show up or not, but there's a quote. It's a quotation of King James. King James said that. It's a horrible crime that ye are bound in conscience never to forgive. 
You see, back in 1611, if you were a sodomite, you would be executed. Okay? They'd kill you. They'd put you to death. It was a capital, uh, 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 a capital offense to be a sodomite back then. And they say, well, well, they would not have put a king to death, though. You know, King James got away with it because he was the king. Uh, not so. You see, because King James's son, King Charles I, was put to death. He was beheaded because of treason. So don't tell me, oh, if King James was a sodomite, they, they couldn't have put him to death because he was the king. Oh, they would have put him to death. Believe me. And you can go on and you can read more about this whole scam that King James was a sodomite. It's not even true. Those accusations were brought out 20 years after his death by men that were connected to the Catholic Church. Okay? Jesuitical lies is what the whole thing was. There's no truth to this garbage in this Queen James thing. But it says here, a fabulous Bible. The, the QJB, isn't that nice? is a big, fabulous Bible. It is printed and bound in the United States on thick, high-quality paper and a beautiful, readable typeface. It is the perfect Bible for ceremony, study, sermon, gift-giving, or simply to put on display in the home or church. You can't choose your sexuality. Nonsense. But you can choose Jesus. Now you can choose a Bible, too. Isn't that wonderful? Okay? Absolute satanic filth. And I thought this thing was a joke at first. And then I actually got on. It says here you can purchase it. You can see here, buy online or in stores at Amazon.com. Okay, Amazon.com sells a lot of sodomite books and materials. But see, this right here, you want to talk about a hate crime? You want to talk about narrow-minded bigotry? changing the Bible and lying about a king to suit your perverted goals. That's, that's wrong. That's sin. And of course, you know, what's really behind it? 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. That's what's really going on. Because you have the best-selling Bible of all time, and the sodomite, the pervert, comes out and he says, maybe I can make some money on that. Uh-huh. And by the way, there are more than eight passages in the King James Bible that prove that sodomy is a sin. There's a lot more than eight. You say, like what? How about the Ten Commandments? Honor thy father and mother, man and woman. And by the way, if you don't have a father and mother, you're not going to live. <laughs> okay? You will not exist unless you have a man and a woman. Two sodomites can never produce a child. Male sodomites or female. Okay? They are, they are sterile. They cannot produce anything but disease and sickness and sin and God's judgment on a nation. Alright? What are you going to do? Eliminate the whole passage there about Sodom and Gomorrah? It's ridiculous. You say, well, why don't you buy one and do a review on it? No. They're not going to get a cent of my money. Not going to happen. Uh, even so, come Lord Jesus, I'll tell you what. We're getting real close to the rapture, if you haven't figured that out already. The Lord's about ready to pour out His wrath. Okay, just like He did on Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, he took Lot out of Sodom before He judged it. And Lot wasn't part of the body of Christ either, by the way. Lot was an Old Testament saint. Very interesting. You have these knuckleheads out there that are saying that we're going to go through the tribulation. Uh, that's a bunch of junk. That's a bunch of nonsense. And I'm going to be bringing out some videos on that in the near future here. But uh, God's wrath is coming on this nation. It's already here. By the way, you say, uh, prove it. Okay, we have Obama as our president. <laughs> read through your Old Testament. Read through Jeremiah you know, and Ezekiel and see how God gave them over into the hand of the Babylonians as judgment. God's given us over into the hands of a very wicked man, Obama, and all the corporate interests that own him. God's given us over into their hands as judgment because of our sin. And the Bible says if judgment begin, it must begin at the house of God. Okay? The churches are the ones that are the most bringing the corruption. Okay? These modern churches and things. I go off on rants all day. But uh, just want to 
put a video together real quick on this whole subject here. Um, it's just going to keep getting worse. And these these dirty sodomites, you know what they're going to do? I had, a, I had a brother ask us. He said, I said, I'm, you know, the King James Bible is going to be banned before long. And he said, where'd you hear that? Well, it's just common sense. They can't stand the thought of a book that judges them. Okay? I have a Bible, King James Bible right here. It's in a cover, so you can't really see it. But the point is, they can't stand that book. They can't stand the thought of a Bible out there that lays out their sin and exposes them and says, you're going to hell. They don't like that. That's why they have to try and revise it. That's why they have to come out and lie and try to change the Word of God. Pretty disgusting. Okay, look for more videos coming out in the future. I'm getting things squared away now here with the place where I'm living. Um, still don't have the, the little studio thing here set up quite like I used to have it uh, at the old place where I used to live. But we're, we're moving forward. Um, we're getting there. Uh, of course, after the holidays and things, things are going to kind of calm back down a little bit more. I'm working with other uh, shops and things up here. Um, helping people out with websites, the church I'm attending, helping them out with a website. Uh, revival meetings coming up there January 13th uh, is when that starts, countrychapelbaptistchurch.com. You can go to that website and check it out. And uh, if you're in the area, you can go there. Um, the pastor's son is going to be coming in to do revival meetings. But uh, a lot of things planned for the future, so just keep checking back. I'm going to keep uploading sermons. Uh, thank you to everybody out there that's donated. Appreciate that. Thank you to everybody out there that's praying for the ministry. Really appreciate that too. So I guess that's going to be it for now.